The Sparks are coming up a 41 point win over Adelaide. It's been a few days since the win. How have you guys reflected on that one? Yeah, um, it was a good win um, in you know in hot conditions, which was which was a bit different to what we've had the last few weeks. A lot of wind and rain, but um, it was good. It was a good response to a, a slow quarter at the start. Um, we were probably just a little bit off in in all the key areas of our game, um, and, and it showed. Even though we were up, we probably didn't maximise on anything, and they and they really took it to us. So. Um, it just showed a lot of maturity in the second, third and fourth quarter to respond and get the game back on our terms. So, um, slow start but pleasing to get a win against a side that's, you know, probably towards the bottom of the ladder but uh, extremely competitive. Um, you played well yourself and you've also had a really great year. How are you feeling having that consistency in the AFL side? Yeah, I've said it uh, a few times in interviews before uh, this year. It's a lot easier to, you know, get your form uh, going well when you're consistently in the side and it helps, um, you know, when the team's going well. It's sort of small forwards a role where um, you benefit a lot off the ball movement um, of the team. So I'm um, happy to just be in the team and, and playing my role. and. Um, probably good to get the ball a bit more this week. Um, usually, you know, sitting around 8 to 12 touches, it can be sometimes hard because you do a lot of uh, unrewarded running, but um, maybe once every three weeks, you'll probably get a, a week where you, you get a lot of the ball. One week it'll be Nibbler, uh, one week it'll be Cozzy, so it was good to get involved on the weekend. And you said earlier in the year that you've learnt a lot on the coaches such as Stafford. Um, have there been any players that you've really learnt a lot off? Um, Nibbler would probably be the one, um, Alex Nilborn. He's uh, just an exceptional leader. Um, for the whole team, but specifically the small forwards. Um, his work rate and how he plays the role is something that Cozzy and I look up to a lot, so uh, he's one that I definitely follow off. Um, looking ahead to Saturday's game, it's a big one down at Geelong against the Cats. What's the focus heading into that one? Um, you know, they're, they're a really good side. We were looking at their, their strengths and there's a lot of them. Um, they, they move the ball well, um, their contest is really good and they've got some good intercept defenders. So um, it's an important game, even though we're, we're on top of the table. Um, if we win this, you know, I think we get to choose where we might play or we'll get the home final. Uh, if we lose, we might have to play, you know, Port Adelaide and Adelaide. So um, although it's the end of the year and we're on top of the table, uh, it's extremely important and then we're setting our sights on a, on a big game. Um, and as there is no pre-finals by now, um, finals is what, less than two weeks away. Is that something that you guys discuss or are you just doing it one week at a time? Um, it's, it's hard to look, like you want to look forward to it, you keep thinking about it, but um, you know, the coaches and the players always make sure that we, we stay in the present. Um, I was looking forward to it because I know a bit of a spell. At the end of the year, you, you're looking for a week off just to, to have a bit of a rest because everyone's sort of carrying a niggle, but um, we're just gonna have to move on with that and, and adapt to it. But um, yeah, just trying to look forward to this week as opposed to in the future.